As we continue to battle the global COVID-19 pandemic, we cannot forget one of our nation's longest epidemics that we continue to fight, HIV AIDS. 39 years ago, the HIV AIDS epidemic began in the United States in June 1981. Today, there are more than 1.1 million people across the nation living with HIV and more than 700,000 people with AIDS have died since the beginning of the epidemic. Here at home from 1985 to 2016, 263 people have been diagnosed with HIV. Just like COVID-19, the beginning of the HIV AIDS epidemic was filled with fear and uncertainty. While there is no cure or vaccine for HIV, strides in medicine and government programs such as Medicaid have made the disease manageable and many people who are infected go on to live fulfilling lives. While we have made great progress in learning about managing HIV AIDS, there is still more that needs to be done. Ending the HIV epidemic requires us to recognize and address the social and economic challenges that block marginalized groups from equally accessing services. We need to decrease HIV-related stigma and discrimination that prevent too many people from seeking treatment. And we must increase access to contraception and quality reproductive health services. In our current battle against COVID-19, we can learn a lot from the HIV AIDS epidemic, and those lessons are encompassed in this year's theme, Global Solidarity, Shared Responsibility. No man is an island, and the growing interconnectedness of the world requires each nation to play a role in solving global problems, such as climate change, development, and epidemics like COVID-19 and HIV AIDS. The progress we have made in combating HIV AIDS has been in part due to the strength within our communities, our sense of solidarity, and our shared responsibility to protect each other. Let us all reaffirm our commitment to keep our community safe. Sidus Masin.